In Texas, 17 year olds who are arrested are automatically sent to the adult justice system, regardless of how minor the offense might be. Texas is one of only four states that is still treating kids like adults in the criminal justice system. The courts have said kids are different. Kids under age 18 are different. So these 17 year olds, again, are in a class by themselves. So changing the law would bring Texas into alignment, not only with 47 other states around the country, 46 other states around the country, but also with Supreme Court law and other laws as well. Seventeen twenty-five consists of twenty percent of our offender population. It is fifty percent of our revocations. And research has actually shown us that um, recidivism rates for seventeen-year-olds who are placed in the juvenile system, as opposed to similar situated in the adult system, are going to be lower. We always think that jail or prison is going to help folks. It didn't help me any. You know, if anything, it made my substance use development, my mental health disorder worse. These kids are not only more likely to recidivate if they stay in the adult system, but they also are at much greater risk of uh, mental health issues, suicide, physical and sexual assault, all if they are put into a, an adult correctional facility. Raising the age of juvenile jurisdiction would start 17-year-olds off in the youth justice system, but then give judges the discretion to uh, move those kids with the most serious offenses on a case-by-case -case basis. Well, one thing that we often heard around the legislature is, oh, that they're all committing really serious crimes and such. Nothing could be further from the truth. If you actually analyze the crimes committed by the 17-year-olds, they are charged with such things as um, vandalism and liquor issues and uh, marijuana possession. It, it's basically stupid teenagers doing really stupid stuff. Juvenile justice system is actually better equipped to handle 17 year olds because they can monitor things such as class attendance um, and behavioral issues as well as facilitate that important parental involvement. Uh, so the juvenile justice system provides really great opportunities for redemption. There's a lot more um, programming and resources uh, that are available to 17-year-olds through the juvenile justice system. When 17-year-olds are tried as adults, um, they miss out on these really important opportunities that are provided to them in the juvenile justice system. Expanding juvenile jurisdiction to include 17-year-olds promotes a youth justice system that's focused on public safety, rehabilitation, fairness, and social responsibility. When I was involved in the, the juvenile justice system from 13 to 16 years old, my family was offered services. They asked those questions like, what can we do to help? When I tested positive for a drug test, they said, you know, what can we do to help? And they sent me to a, a treatment center. We didn't get none of that at 17 years old. All they wanted was that you be at court, and whatever happens, happens. So when I look at raise the age, it's the outcomes. And is it good for public safety? Is it good for victims? And is it good for uh, those that have offended? And when I go through a checklist, it's yes, yes, yes. I brought a little friend with me here today, Scarlett Rose. And I'm four years old, and as I was driving up here, I was thinking, man, maybe like in 13 years, you could, if Texas doesn't get their mind right, she could be one of those 17-year-olds. If she gets into trouble at school, she gets into an altercation with her. Somebody at school, you know, she could be arrested and charged at 17 and then get sent to an adult jail or an adult prison. And I can't see that happen. Something's got to change.